If you have asthma, you probably don't know which medicines you're supposed to be using. You have the pumps, you have the nebulizers, you have the dry powder inhalers. You just don't know what to do. There are differences between dry powder inhalers and meter dose inhalers, and I'm going to tell you about them. The main difference is how the medicine is dispensed to the user. A meter dose inhaler uses gases to shoot the medicine out at about 120 miles an hour into your mouth, while a dry powder inhaler relies on the patient to inhale the medicine using the lungs. Many of the meter dose inhalers previously on the market contain chlorofluorocarbons, otherwise known as CFCs, which are actually harmful to the ozone layer. As a part of a worldwide effort to reduce the release of these gases, inhalers using CFCs began being phased out at the end of December 2008. Alternatively, dry powder dose inhalers do not contain any of these gases. The differences between meter dose inhalers is for the doctors to worry about, and you don't have to worry about them because if you can get it now, it's safe for you because the FDA has approved inhalers that deliver meter dose treatments without containing the CFCs. These inhalers dispense medicine like albuterol and corticosteroids in the same way, just without the harmful gases. So you can continue with your meter dose inhaler with little or no change if it's what works best for you. What's most important is that if you're using these inhalers appropriately, you will get the medicine and you should have them at all times if you have asthma. It's your favorite doctor, Dr. Corey Bear for BlackHealthTV.com.